All right, welcome to our lesson on acceleration. My goal today is to take you through it so you can get your notes, show you a little demonstration, so hopefully you understand acceleration. So the first thing I'm gonna to say to you is, I'd recommend you watch the brain pop below. I'll put the link for it and the um, username and password, but I do know that you have to do it within certain hours. So try to watch it if you can, because it does help clarify some stuff. Um, but if you can't because of time, well then, then you can't. So make sure that you definitely understand exactly what I'm gonna be showing you right now. So acceleration, let's get our notes written in there. Like I said, if you haven't watched the brain pop now, try to go and watch it, then come back to the video. All right, what acceleration is, it's the rate at which velocity changes. So velocity is similar to speed in the sense that it's how fast you're going, so acceleration means your speed is changing. So you're either speeding up or you're slowing down, and the rate at which you do that is called acceleration. So he goes from here to there, short and simple. He had to accelerate to get on over there. All right, so in other words, it's a change in velocity in a certain amount of time. Or the formula for this is final velocity minus initial velocity over time. So we'll do some practice with this so it makes sense. But basically, how fast were you at the end minus how fast were you in the beginning and how long did it take you to get from those two speeds? So if you've ever heard like car commercials that, who advertise for really fast cars, they say from zero to 60 in three seconds. So that's the final, or the initial to the final in three seconds, because that means it can accelerate really fast. All right, the unit is kind of weird. Um, I'll skip this guy, you can read him if you like. But basically, since it's a change in velocity over time, so it's meters per second over time, which is usually seconds, the, the actual unit ends up being meters per second squared because it's meters per second over second or meters per second per second but usually people say meters per second squared as the actual unit it could be kilometers per second squared kilometers per hour squared but meters per second squared is the usual um, unit for acceleration but sometimes it's not positive so you have deceleration which is a decrease in velocity so that means that it's slowing down so deceleration and negative acceleration are the same thing because it means that you're slowing down. Your velocity is getting less and less. So if you ever see a negative acceleration, it means that you're slowing down as opposed to getting faster and faster. So like this little dog here puts his foot down to slow himself down, he would have a negative acceleration or deceleration. Same thing. This gets a little tricky, so we're not going to spend too much time on it, but it's important that you are exposed to it. So even though if you go four meters per second east and then you turn around and go four meters per second west, even though your speed is exactly the same thing, you accelerated because you changed velocity, you changed direction. So like if you're running in a circle, you would constantly be accelerating even if you're going at the constant speed because you're constantly changing your direction. This gets confusing, so we're not going to worry too much about it. Um, we're going to focus more on straight lines as opposed to changing directions because then it gets too complicated. Okay, we'll go back to that math problem in a second. Let me show you this little demonstration which hopefully will help make things a little bit clearer. So I highly recommend that you rewatch this, rewind, pause, whatever you need to do to make sure you get it. So you have a guy over here. Let's keep his acceleration at zero. So he's moving, but his acceleration is at zero because he's not getting any faster or slower. So just because you're moving doesn't mean you have acceleration. Same, it's constant speed. So again, if you need to rewatch that, rewatch it. So constant speed means zero acceleration. But now let's actually give him some acceleration this time. So we have him over here. We make his acceleration around one. So what that means is he starts off, then he gets a little faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. He keeps getting faster and faster because he's accelerating. But now, let's have him over here. Let's say, let's start him off, I don't know, at six meters per second. Eh, why not even? eight meters per second. But let's make his acceleration negative. So what happens now is he starts off fast and then he slows down and slows down and slows down and slows down. Let's actually do that one again. We'll make his acceleration even less this time. So he starts off again around seven meters per second and then starts off fast and slows and slows and slows and slows. So a negative acceleration means he's going to slow down and then the higher the negative number or the, the lower the number. Um, so negative three, negative four would be he'd slow down even faster. So that is acceleration. I know that was short and sweet, so rewatch this as many times as you need to make sure you understand it. Like I said, watch the brain pop. I'll try to include this link down below too so you can understand this. 
please remember with the flipped lesson that your job is not just simply write down the notes, but to come in and understand the concepts. You should understand acceleration, understand why it will be zero and what that looks like, understand what a negative acceleration looks like. Make sure you understand this for next class. All right. Goodbye.